Hi and welcome, my name is Deidre Soriani and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the filtering system and the system that I like to use in order to see where people land in my life. And I've also used this for many of my clients and it supported them to create better boundaries in their life, in their business, in their relationships, and has really prevented them from having an expectation hangover or getting into a relationship that isn't fully aligned and so I'm really excited to share this with you today so go ahead grab a piece of paper and let's jam this out so we have three circles within the circle so the inner circle so the first circle okay and then there's the next circle and then there's the next circle right so there's three circles and then there's everything that is outside of the circle. Okay, so this right here is your inner circle. These are the people that are like your closest crew, the people that are the closest to you. So we're just gonna call this the inner circle. Inner circle. And then this circle is like your inner outer circle. So these are people, well, we'll get into it in a moment. Inner slash outer okay and then this is your outer circle and then this is the rest of the world <laughs> okay of the world okay so let's talk about it so the rest of the world these are people that you probably meet maybe at the grocery store or you walk by on the street and you say hello to or you smile these are all the people that are in the world all of the people that are in the world are outside of your circle okay and then one layer in we're gonna go from the outside in so these are people you don't know you don't know anything about you might see them here and there but you don't really know them okay this is your outer circle so your outer circle are people that you probably do know and they might be acquaintances and maybe they're in your community and you know their name okay so these are the people who are um, like within like in community okay um, you might know their name might know name They might be some people that you used to be really good friends with, but maybe there was an upset or something happened and they're no longer your friend, but you do know who they are, okay? So this can be like old friends, acquaintances, right? Acquaintances, etc. okay? So outer circle is people you don't know, outer okay so pe people that are outside of the circle are people you don't know on the outer circle this is like people that are in your community or that are in your field that you know of and it might also be some people who you used to be friends with but you're not friends with them anymore you wouldn't consider them uh, maybe trustworthy or you wouldn't consider them someone that you'd want to spend time with but you might bump into at a gathering or something like that okay so the next is the outer, the inner outer circle. So these are people who you probably have a pretty good relationship with. Um, and you're probably like, you might spend some time with them. They might be some of your good, like pretty good friends. Okay. So these are people who are like, um, like good friends, maybe, right? Good friends and people you spend time with people you spend time with okay i'm doing the worst job but you know what i'm saying the worst job at writing this out and then the inner circle are your people these are the people that you can be an open book to these are the people that got your back these are the people that no matter what happens you know that they're also going to have your best interest in mind and that you can trust them with anything in the world okay so why did i do all of this well, sometimes in life, we can put people that are out here or here into our inner circle. And when we do that, 
we are setting ourselves up for failure. We're setting ourselves up for pain. We're setting ourselves up to maybe have betrayal or maybe um, not be happy or have those expectation hangovers in our life, okay? So I'm gonna break that down a little bit more and I'm just gonna flip the page. So there's the inner circle, the, outer, the inner outer, there's the outer circle, and then there's the rest of the world. Okay, so let's get clear on what you want in your inner circle, okay? Inner circle. Inner circle. Okay, so inner circle, for me, when I think of the people that I am going to share my life with, that I'm going to maybe, um, have in community and really trust with anything in the world. These are people that I know have the same values as me, okay? So these are people who usually have similar values to you. So values, they may have a similar mission. They may or may not have a similar vision. And these are people, and you get to really create um, what it is that you want and get clarity on who you're letting into your inner circle. The next piece, these are people that you can trust. You can trust with your heart, you can trust them with anything because they have a high level of integrity. You guys are very similar and you can have conversations and you just know who they are on a very, very deep level, okay? So these are people who you know have your back And you know that no matter how much time has gone by, no matter what's gone on in your life, like you guys are friends, your soul family for life, okay? So I'm gonna write soul family. Okay. So trust is here. I wanna put that there. So trust, similar values, similar mission maybe similar vision to their life, maybe, maybe not, but the values, the trust, and them having your back is really a big piece of this inner circle part, okay? So I have a filtering system for friends in general, and the filtering system that I like to use is, does this person inspire me? Not that every person needs to inspire me, that's not necessarily it, but I do ask myself these questions. Do they inspire me? Can I learn something from them? Do we have a similar vision or mission? And, and that's how I like to start to filter the people that I have in my circles so that I know that I'm growing, that I know that it's a mutually beneficial relationship. But that will be a whole nother video and we can talk more about that later. So the first level is your inner circle, right? And so I really wanna drive this home. So similar values, maybe similar mission and vision in life, you can trust them, they can trust you with anything. It's like you don't even have to say, hey, this is like something that's really important to me. They just have that connection, they get you, right? Um, they have your back no matter what and vice versa. And maybe you consider them part of your soul family, okay? So the next level is your inner outer circle. Your inner outer circle. Okay, so your inner outer circle may sound similar to the inner circle, but is actually very different. These are people that you may spend time with. You can call them your friends, right? So they're maybe your friends. They may be your family. They may be people in your community. People, we're gonna say share similar interests. Interests, okay. And sometimes these are the people that you have fun with, you go on adventures with, and you probably spend some time with, right? So inner circle, they have similar values, a lot of trust, they have your back, you have their back. It's like the unspoken words. You just know that no matter what, you guys have each other's back. There's a lot of trust there. Uh, mission vision is probably similar. Soul family, um, you have their back, they have yours. As I said, your inner outer circle, these are people that um, might be your friends. You might spend some time with them. Um, it could be your family, but your family could also go, also go in your inner circle, but sometimes it doesn't always match up. 
and I'll explain that in a moment. And then there's the people that you have similar interests to. So if you play sports or do arts or you create something, you may have some of those people in this inner outer circle. You have fun with them and you go on adventures. Okay, so let's look at the difference between the inner circle and the inner outer circle. And this is very important. This is one of the biggest learning um, learnings that I had in the space of relationships is that I was thinking that people in this category also I could trust and they had my back and vice versa. And this is where a lot of people start to be, have this expectation hangover and some friction in relationships when one person or maybe both people think that the person's in the inner circle, but they don't have aligned values. They don't have the similar mission, similar vision. And so there's clashing there. So in the inner circle, this is where you can trust people with anything. You can literally tell them your deepest, darkest secrets, everything, but you know that they've got your back and vice versa. Whereas the next layer, the inner outer circle, these are your friends, maybe your family, uh, people you share interests with, it's fun, and it's adventurous, but you don't, they don't necessarily have your back. They don't necessarily have your best interest in mind. You may have similarities and have fun together, but they're not the people that at the end of the day you can trust with anything and you know that they have your best interest in mind. And so why is it important to know the difference here? Well, it's a subtle difference, but it's actually very important. So for me, knowing that I have a really great inner circle, I know who I can share everything with, right? But the next layer is these people that I have fun with and maybe go on adventures with and some friends some family and some people I share common interests with. They aren't necessarily the people that I'm going to tell everything about what's going on in my life, although I am a bit of an open book, but I'll have more of a filtering system because I'm not going to put them into the bucket of inner circle if in fact we don't have the same values, we don't have a vision or a mission that's similar, but most importantly, if they if I don't feel on a deep level that I can trust them to really be in a space of reciprocating that level of trust right and so these are the people that have your back so knowing the difference between the two is really important because then you just know where people um, are like land and there's no expectation of someone being a different way than they are okay so the next level of the circle is your outer circle okay outer circle so your outer circle are people that are in your community or in your space. In your right community, right? You know them, like you know their name, you know their names. They might be involved in different things that you're interested in, right? These could be um, old friendships. Uh, people from your past. Okay. So the outer circle here, these are people that could be in your community that you know. Um, they could be people that you know their names, right? So you know who they are. And they could be old friendships, people that you used to be really close with, but maybe something happened, you had an expectation hangover, or there was some sort of betrayal or something in the friendship, but they're still, they've still, they're still connected with you in some way on a deeper level. And these, so also people from the past. So the reason why I'm sharing this with you is because there's different layers that I think is really important to have filtering system to have people who are close to you because a lot of times when we're upset in a relationship, maybe it's an intimate relationship that you're getting into and it's a, um, you know, you start dating someone. Well, one of the first things you might want to ask is, do they have similar values to me? Because so, like those intimate relationships are, you know, inner circle. Do they have similar values? Do we have a similar mission? Maybe vision can i trust them right these are really important pieces that want to come up will they have my back will i have their back right and then also like do do we have a soul connection here and if the answer is no well that might be someone that you have fun with right you might go on some adventures with you might have um you know have some shared interests but they may not be aligned radically aligned to be in your inner circle some of the biggest upsets that i've had in my life are 
thinking that people who are in my inner outer and outer circle acting like and thinking that they were actually in my inner circle. So you can see the disconnect because in your outer circle, your inner outer circle and your outer circle, you don't really look so much at the values and missions and trust you might like, right? I, of course, when I'm spending time with friends, family, and you know, people I spend time with and have fun with, of course, like it does matter to me whether or not I can trust them to a certain degree. But the truth is, am I asking them? Am I, am I really considering if I'm going snowboarding with someone or going to a dance class with a group of people? Do I really ask myself, are they going to have my back? Probably not. Right. But I share this system with you because it's very important to know who you're bringing into your inner circle where you're having the upsets in your relationship and is are the upsets happening because they actually don't belong in your inner circle and when you start to place people in these circles that you don't have to tell them about right it can just be something that you know what happens is your expectations begin to lower and you're able to really find your soul family. You're really able to stabilize in what it is that you want and create a life you love because relationships are key to that. So you can take a snapshot of this or um, you can go back to your circle. And what I would recommend for you to do today is I would love for you, what I want to invite you into is write a list down of your top values. What are your top values? What is your vision? What is your mission? What does trust mean to you? What is like having a best friend or being in that intimate relationship look like and feel like to you? And what's important, get really clear on those things because when we're not clear, we're not going to attract what it is that we want and then things get funky and then chaos and, and disconnects and expectation hangovers and all of these things can happen in our life because we're not clear. But when we get clear and we use the system of seeing where people are in the chart, it's a space of releasing expectations, having fun, and really knowing that you've got your own back because you have clarity. So the first piece is know what your values are. What are your top three values? What is being in a relationship like look like and feel like to you and those are the people that you want to have in your circle the people who are already living that the people who are in that space of least resistance and it's like naturally who they are the people who might you know be interested in that but aren't living it already are probably your inner outer circle they're people that you can trust and have fun with but you know that they're not fully they're not radically aligned and then the next piece is your outer circle and these are old friends these are you know your community people you know but you know they're not it's it's like getting married before going on a first date sometimes in our life we can let people into our inner circle before going on that first date and asking ourselves those questions and asking them too so that's what I want to invite you in today. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day.